Hey there, Johnny Daniel, your Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. Hey, I thought I would show you some paper out of the Celebration brochure, which is only good until February 29th. We've got a leap year this year, so. Um, but it's called Most Adored 12 by 12. And what page was that on? Uh, page nine. And I figured I'd show it to you. So you could see it in person because often our photos, well, you know, things often don't translate well on photos. So the whole reason I got this was because of this cross hatch or this plaid pattern, but everything is also double sided. So we've got some gold swirls as well. Then we've got some gold flowers. Now we've got two sheets each of this, and then we've got a nice pink swirl. Now this is the second page of that same one I just showed you, that cut one. So we'll, we'll, we'll pass that one up. Then we've got a nice cross hatch again of the gold, gold foiling with some pale pink hearts. And then we've got some roses in gold. Sorry, I'm still having to do this one-handed. You know, we're overcoming obstacles this, this year, evidently. Then we got some red and white hearts. Now this is real red. And then we've got some really cute paper. I love this because how easy would this be to just cut and do fronts on and just say Happy Valentine's Day? And then this, I just love this. So put this as an outer mat. Put this as an inner mat. Put some words up there. You're done. Easy, easy. And then this almost makes me feel like we're back in the 80s. And then we've got some pink hearts. Two-toned background. So I've got some stuff already cut. So I figured I would um, show you a few things. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. you know, as best as I can do for right now. I've got some basic white thick cardstock. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. Um, how am I doing the cutting? I'm standing up and using this basically as a doorstop. We're just getting it done is what it comes down to. So sometimes that's what you got to do. And then I'm using my glass mat. I love this instead of the paper grids, um, <laughs> simply because I can't hold things. It's just really simple. So I'm gonna show you one of the cards, at least. And I've already got, all right, hold on. I've already got four, and these are cut at five by three and three quarter. And then my white pieces are all cut at, let's see if I can remember, four and a half by three and a quarter. And then I have a piece of scrap white that we're gonna do. So I'm gonna show you some different ways to use this, okay? So for today, I've got my real red. I'm gonna pop this open real quick. Sorry, I can't do it on camera. My, um. I have to hold it lower than the camera because my arm doesn't angle that way right now. So, there we go. <laughs> Just that simple. All right, so I'm gonna use two of these red side and two of them this gold side. So what I'm gonna show you is how to use our new brayer. Isn't that cool? So a couple things to note. When you're using it, use it this side so it so these do not poke into your ink pad. But when you're done, go like that so this spins still freely and you won't have any marks on wherever you're setting it down, right? So I'm just gonna grab through. Now this is super easy because with the dauber I'd have to hold and do and everything else. This I can just simply. Now if you want no lines, then you're gonna have to do it differently. 
but I actually like the lines. Gives it kind of an art deco background kind of feel. So there's one. Now if you want to grab a paper towel and wipe off after it kind of dries on the gold, then it'll be a little more brilliant, but yeah, you know, to each his own, right? So this brayer, all you got to do to clean it is run it through some cold water, let it dry. It's just that simple. Makes my life way simple, I'll tell you that. And I need quite a bit of simple right now because doing it one-handed means it's a lot it's a lot more work <laughs> it's just that simple all right so we're going to flip this over so it doesn't stay on everything else and i'm going to grab my white piece oh i got ink on my thumb <laughs> of course right all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm grabbing my doggone friendly so cute right i'm going to grab my big Hold on, I'm gonna grab my big, huge clear block. Which one is this? It's gotta have a letter on the side, F to be exact. Now, do I need this right now? No, but I will later. So, I'm gonna move this to the side and flip this over. Now, if you wanted to do ombre, if you wanted to do a whole bunch of other stuff, go for it. But I am just going to ink this guy up, especially in the middle. And I'm going to flip that over. We're going to grab our white where the fingerprints are even. And I'm just going to set that down. Now, here's the fun part. Ready? Throw this over with the ink side down, grab my brayer, flip around, doesn't matter if there's ink on it or not, except I'm going to get a different mat now, but that means, let's see if I can do this, that look at how, look how great that came out without having to press onto it. Awesome, right? So... Yay, I like that. Super easy, right? So now what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna move this to the side, that's my background, and I'm gonna grab here, and where'd my ink go? So many things going on, huh? All right, so we're gonna ink this up again easy peasy and my farmers market people would say lemon squeezy because they're selling lemonade but obviously I'm not there wish it could be really really but I'm not so so we're gonna push that on there and I'm just gonna take the palm of my hand and push 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 if you don't want to do that, you can run the brayer through, but I want to show you different ways to be able to do stuff, right? That's the name of the game, last I looked at least. So now I'm going to grab my two and three eighths punch. My punches are my friend right now. Why? Because I don't have two hands to do a die. So you just got to pick the tools that work for you and keep going. So now I'm going to pick what um what dogs i want singled out as it were and we're just going to do a couple punches if you want a different shape punch go for it it's really up to you on what you do it's just that simple okay And I mean this, you can even use for a card front and pop other stuff through. It, it's up to you on how much, how creative you can be. All right, so I am still using the dimensionals because that stamp and seal is still not doing too good for me, but 
it's just how it is right now. Use the tools you can with what you can, as fast as you can, as hard as you can, right? So I am grabbing, well, I didn't want to grab the ivory. Hold on, wrong one. I wanted brown. So let's see, which one's this? This is crumb cake, that will work. So I've got my light and my dark. So I'm gonna start with my light because you can always make it darker, right? Grab my, my part of this and get it off, my cap. All right, so I'm gonna grab and I'm gonna fill in some crumb cake, crumb cake, crumb cake. And where I think it's supposed to be darker, like the mustache here, the inside of the ears, you know, all that kind of stuff. That I am going to do with the darker, just so we have a little bit of accent. And obviously I need, need some pink for my bow, because she needs to be cute, right? And I need some pink for that tongue. Thankfully these caps come off fairly easily. And if you want to blend it a little bit, grab your color lifter and get it all set and done. Let me grab some pink, pink, pink. And I'm going to grab the detail side simply because I it's a small space, right? So there's that. All right, so I'm gonna grab my plaid and I'm gonna grab my card base and I'm still getting fingerprints everywhere. <laughs> so let's see if we can wipe some of that off. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so we're gonna fold that up and I'm gonna lay that back flat. I've got ink, ink, ink. Some of the fun of using red <laughs> so it's all good so I'm gonna use this crosshatch pattern but like I said we could use the colored one it's up to you on what you do and grab my dimensionals that I'm going through like crazy because this is what's working right at the moment the whole idea is to get you to craft so if you do that, you know, with a different kind of adhesive and it still works, go for it. It's just that simple. So we're gonna put this down and cover up all our fingerprints. Okay, and then remember I put on the, like a dice with the five. So what I'm gonna do is instead go out, go out, so I don't have stacks and stacks on top of each other so it's super tall. And then, let's see here. So we've got this. Okay, and then here's my my puppers. So we're gonna use, it's kind of like a spot-like spot -like technique where you cut it out and then use the same one but a different color. If you don't believe me, look it up on YouTube. I guarantee it's there. It's called spotlight technique, where you pull out and then focus it differently. So there's that. And I'm like, yeah, we're gonna see if this works. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut that edge off. Why? Because I don't want it sticking past. So yeah, it'll look a little different, but it'll be fine. Okay. So there's there's my spotlight kind of faux card. And if I wanted to, I could grab some Wing Costello, some, some glitter, some words. You know, you could always dress it up, but today we're keeping it simple. So there you go. And follow me, stampinwithjohnny.com, for more. Thank you.